so we all are heading towards the end of exercise uh, 3b and we shall be starting from question number 6 onwards till the end of this exercise okay so in question number 6 what i find question number 6 what i find is find the greater fraction they are asking find the greater fraction okay two fractions have been given like 4 by 5 and 3 by 10 and they are asking you which one of them is greater so one method we can do is by making the denominators equal okay if we can make denominators equal then in that case we can uh, know whether this fraction is bigger or this fraction is bigger however I would suggest you that is better use cross product use cross product we had also done this in our previous session using the cross product how if we have 4 by 5 and 3 by 10 so in that case what we do we generally we multiply the numerator with of one fraction with the denominator of the other and we we stick to the rule that is 4 into 10 and here 3 into 5 here we have 3 into 5 this is the only rule okay so here we have 3 into 5 3 into 5 and we find that 4 into 10 is 40 while 3 into 5 is our 15 now from these two numbers these two values we can understand that 40 is greater so if your right hand side is greater right hand side number is greater then in that case 4 by 5 which is towards your right hand side is greater than 3 by 10 so this is the simplest method a simplest rule which you can stick to okay if we come to one more number that, that is number 5 we have minus 2 by 7 and 3 by 10 so these are the two numbers as I said we would stick to cross product the cross product okay means minus 2 into 10 and 3 into 7 3 into 7 where I would find here we have minus 3 so minus 3 into 7 so minus 20 and again we have here as minus 21 now you can easily judge which of them is greater so naturally minus 20 is greater why minus 20 is greater because negative numbers negative negative numbers close to 0 close to 0 are greater okay this means when I compare this this number with this I can easily say that minus 2 by 7 minus 2 by 7 is greater than minus 3 by 10 so in question number 6 find the greater fraction can easily be solved isn't it when we come to question number 3b question number 7 isn't it 3b 3b number 7 question number 7 okay so for a every sum we mention from where we are picking it up insert one fraction okay insert one fraction okay between means two fractions are given as 3 by 7 and 4 by 9 so here you can see that two fractions have been given to you and you have to insert one fraction between them so in order to insert one fraction between them what we do we add the numerators and the denominators we add the numerators 3 by 7 
plus 4 by 9, we add the numerators like 3 plus 4 and 7 plus 9. So we get how much? 7 and 9 plus 7, 16. So 7 by 16 is a fraction between 3 by 7 and 4 by 9. Isn't it? Similarly, if you if they give you like this, that insert uh, one fraction between between two between two and eight by three. So here two is also a fraction, isn't it? Which can be written as two by one. So now our task has become easier. Two plus two by one plus eight by three is equal to 2 plus 8 by 1 plus 3 is equal to 10 by 4 which can be simplified as 2 5 times 2 times is equal to 5 by 2 as a fraction between these two numbers okay now before we do question number 9 I hope we should start with question number uh, before we do start question number 8 is better we start with question number 9 ok where they are asking about insert two fractions isn't it insert two fractions between where between number 2 5 by 9 and 1 by 4. Insert two fractions. So as I said that if they would have asked you one fraction between these two then in that case the one of the fraction fraction between so fraction between means we are talking about here if in the fraction which would come in the middle of these two fraction would be 5 by 9 plus 1 by 4 is equal to 5 plus 1 oh, 5 5 plus 1 by 9 plus 4 is equal to 6 by 6 by 13 so here 6 by 13 is a fraction between fraction between 5 by 9 and 1 by 4 so this means now the same value has become like this 5 by 9 5 by 9 1 by 4 and then 6 by 13 came over here 6 by 13 came over here okay now they are asking you insert two fraction so one fraction is this while the other fraction will be over here between 6 by 13 and 1 by 4 so 6 by 13 plus 1 by 4 I would write it like this 6 plus 1 by 13 plus 4 is equal to 7 by 17 so 7 by 17 is another number another fraction between these two so now our final solution is like this 5 by 9 this is 1 by 4 while one of them is 6 by 13 and the other is 7 by 17 so these are the two fraction between 5 by 9 and 1 by 4 if they ask you one more fraction then you can insert one fraction over here or you can insert one fraction over here it totally depends on how you take it isn't it like in number one okay here we have insert two fractions okay insert two fraction number one they have one and three by eleven so when they are talking about one this means it's one by one this means one means one by one so the one fraction which can be inserted over here is 1 plus 3 and 1 plus 11 is equal to is equal to 4 by 12 which would simplify which you can simplify it as 
4 1 times 4 3 times so is equal to 1 by is equal to 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 is a fraction between 1 and 3 by 11 now so my value over here would be 1 I would write it in red because 1 this was 3 by 11 so 1 by 3 came over here 1 by 3 came over here now they are asking you two fractions so now you can find a fraction between 1 by 3 and 3 by 11 so a fraction between 1 by 3 and 3 by 11 again can be written as 1 plus 3 by 3 plus 11 is equal to 4 by 4 by 14 which you would simplify it as to 2 times to 7 times is equal to 2 by 7 so now our same same uh, fractions which they had given us would look like this this was 1 they had given you 1 and 3 by 11 now the first fraction that we found was 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 this was our first fraction 1 by 3 and then we found 2 by 7 between them so you we can easily find out a fraction two fractions between any two numbers again you can use these two of them and can find and can find fraction a uh, three you uh, fraction three fractions three fractions between two fraction isn't it find find three fraction between two given fractions okay which is given in question number eight and i know you will be able to solve it isn't it if mixed numbers are there if here mixed numbers are there for example here uh, in 3 by 11 if they give you mixed numbers so change into into improper fraction isn't it if mixed numbers are given okay in number three if mixed numbers are given if mixed numbers are given okay change into change uh, into improper fraction okay improper fraction so your task will become very easy now your home assignment after you copy this in your notebook your home assignment will be exercise 3c okay in which you need to do number one question number one five six and eight question number two you need to do four five seven twelve and thirteen only while in question number three you need to do number 3, 5, 6 and 7. So if you complete, I think you can easily do all these. Okay. And I will come up with solution. Solution for these sums only. Okay. Thank you.